Hey everybody, Brett from Starters Gaming here, back with episode 15 of our Battle Brothers Let's Play. In the last episode, we were defeated by a dangerous group of bandits. At least, the game considered them dangerous as far as their strength. Um, had we not just come out of a another very difficult battle prior to that, we probably could have taken them. But unfortunately, we were down to... Eight guys out of 12, um, we had just lost three in a battle, not even a minute before that, and the guys that we did have left were pretty beat up. So, you know, we fought val valiantly, but we died, and we started over. We're back in the City of Beginnings, this time it's the City of Karstein. We started another party of, you know, <laughs> ruffians, I guess. Um, nobody as good as we had last time around. But we were able to afford eight guys, although they are not very well equipped, as you can see. He's only got a dagger. Um, he actually doesn't have a weapon at all. That's... shoot. I actually just sold the last knife I had. Let's hop back in here and see what he has. Um, God, I don't know. I really don't want to spend any more money. Maybe we'll take... Well, I may as well spend it on something we actually use. I don't want to waste it. So, I'll buy the boar spear. Because that'll last us for a while. And let's give it to... Hmm... He's got pretty good attack. I want to leave him with that axe. Yeah, I guess we'll just give it to him. And actually, just like I did in the last the last company we had, I will name our best character the Captain. I was actually going to promote a couple of our other characters in the previous company to sergeants, but unfortunately they died before I got the chance. So... We've got our Captain Arn and then our band of misfits. This guy is our archer, although he's not that great of an archer. Anywho, let's uh, jump into this battle here before we waste any more time. And so this should be fairly easy. This is the same battle you pretty much always fight when you start out. Looks like they've got four infantry and one archer. I would like for... Let's have you... Hmm. I'm going to have him make a move for the archer since he's not going to be able to hold his own very well in combat with these guys. Although they only... One of them has a real shield. I think we'll bypass. I'd like to let them come to us. If I can get the first attack. Oh, wow. We're off to a great start here. We'll take the high ground with the archer. And again, I'm going to bypass and let them come to us. I'd like to be able to get an, an attack the first turn. Doesn't look like I'll be getting it, though. So this puts me in kind of an awkward spot. I was hoping he'd be able to get to the archer. Now it looks like... This guy's going to be kind of a nuisance. Let's see. One, two... I'll probably move you here. I'll have you... I don't know, move over here somewhere. You don't have a shield. Just don't die. And I will move you. How far can you get? Not very. There. Let's have you hop up on that high ground. And I'll have you spear wall. So if they try to move in any closer, we'll push them back. And then you come up here and do the same. 
Now, I guess I'll just have you chase after the archer. He's out of range. I have a decent chance to hit these guys, though. I'll go for the guy without a shield. No such luck. I'm actually going to move here and trap this guy. So now that I'm here, he can't move without taking an attack of opportunity. And he's just going to keep fleeing. Yikes. And there's a gang up on him, apparently. Okay, so our high ground is worthless now. I think we will close right here. And let's attack this guy without the shield. You can get your shield up and then attack him. And I'll have you close right here around him. And let's take a stab at him. No. Block and attack. There we go. His hat's destroyed. Okay, you get over here. Uh oh. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I'll take the 52%. Let's see. Uh, I would have liked to get a kill there. Wow, we are just getting butchered right now. Okay, there's a kill. Okay, that's what we needed right there. Yeah, we'll be alright. I don't think you have enough to do both. Let's see, that would put me at 56. Yeah, let's just attack. Play aggressive. Okay, we got a kill there. Then we just need to finish this guy off, and we are done. That battle didn't go nearly as well as I would have liked. But we had like three guys get one-shotted, so I don't know what we could do there. Um, they did drop some good loot, though. So there is that. I mean, not great loot, but I'll take it. Thank you for the advice. Let's head back to the city. And we're going to need some more people. He looks to be the only one we can hire, so I'll take him. Now let's look at our party really quickly. We should be able to give everybody at least a gambeson. Or uh, whatever the heck this thing is. The padded surcoat. Don't have any hats, though. Okay. Let's see, he's got a hatchet. Oh we got one one hat. I guess that's yours. Now the archer's probably okay in what he has. Actually, I'll give him this since it's slightly better. And I'd like to give Oh, I've got two spears. I think two spears will be enough for now. Let's upgrade his bow. Seems like kind of a waste. I just bought it and we're already selling it back. But well. Let's get rid of some of this. I won't be needing those. I'll 
hang on to those. I'm tempted to keep the short bow just in case we pick up another archer. But I think we'll be okay. The bows drop fairly often as loot, so we'll we'll risk it. I'll keep the rest of this though. Actually, I'm gonna take one provision just in case, because we are uh, 12 days. We should be fine. Now, what's he want us to do? Find sunken walls. Where are they? Find where it is. Um. I've never actually taken one of these kind of quests before. I know some of the other quests will tell you about a place that's not on the map and then as soon as you accept the quest it'll show you, but because we're supposed to find this, I don't know if it will. I guess we'll do it. Might as well. So let's pause really quick and take a peek. So we're trying to find sunken walls of Markgraf. Not seeing it. And unfortunately, we're kind of stuck in this quest until we find it. Does it say where? No? So I just need to wander until I find it? I don't like this at all. No, I do not. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see it. And there's no way for us to get out of this quest until we find it. And I didn't see... I mean, I didn't read it very thoroughly, but... Generally, it'll tell you if it's, like, west of you or east of you or... Something. But I didn't see that. So, I'm probably going to... We've still got plenty of time in the episode, so I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a cut, and I'll, off camera, I will re-roll, we'll build a new party, once I get back to where we are right now, I'll hop back in, and we'll grab another quest that doesn't involve us wandering around the map until we find something. So, I will see you guys in a couple minutes. Okay, we're back. I wasn't able to hire eight guys I only got seven um, we are slightly better equipped than we were last time around and we also have two archers this time he's not that great as an archer but he's not that great at anything so we may as well turn him into one this guy I hired him and he already had an archer kit so I'm just gonna leave it he's not terrible at it um, Leaf here is probably going to be our, our captain, and I do that with like air quotes because I'm just picking our best guy and calling him the captain. Um, but he appears to be probably the best at everything, and his uh, pay reflects that. So let's go ahead and change his name to Captain Leaf. And then I believe we need to accept our quest, and we'll fight that battle again. And it'll be the same for four bandits, one archer. Hopefully we can handle this time without getting one-shotted by their archer a couple times. I'm actually going to move him to here. And with these guys, I'm going to wait. I'd like to make them make the first move. And I imagine they're going to head down this way. Yeah. In that case, I will probably hop up here. Okay, so now he's locked in. I think I'll engage here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to tie him up with these two. Can I... Let's 
Try to stun him. <coughs> there we go. So he's stunned. Oh boy. Now I'll move him. I really don't want to get caught up in that. I think I'll move here. We'll protect these archers. And I'll move him here. Let's see, 52, 24. Well, 52 it is. Okay, he's going to tie himself up. You guys just hang out. Let's attack. I could probably wipe him out pretty easily. What was that? Okay, now he's tied up too. Well, we'll keep shooting at him. Yikes. Thought I clicked that. Did I not click that? There we go. And so his turn should be over. As you can see, I was able to get a couple of heater shields. Uh, which should make our guys survive a little bit longer. He's actually got like a shorts or something. I don't remember giving him that. Um, I guess just jump in over here. <coughs> oh, wrong guy, but I'll take it. There we go. He's not looking so good. And this guy's just going to keep raining death on us. There's one kill. What is happening? This game's starting to lag on me a little bit. 35%. Okay, there's three. And now these guys can start pursuing the archer. I don't want to do that. He's going to get caught in that guy's area of influence. Okay, he's gonna shoot somebody. Come on, no... no kills. Okay, they should be far enough apart where he can't get lucky. <coughs> Accidentally hit one. He was trying to run away there and got pretty chopped up. And now we just have to chase him down. Just a matter of catching him at this point. And fortunately, it doesn't look like we're going to lose anybody unless he gets a lucky shot off. But last time around, we lost, I think, two people, which um, it's kind of a big deal this early on because soldiers are 
well, mercenaries are expensive to replace, and our missions are only bringing in a couple hundred gold every time. So, I mean, losing guys in this first mission is kind of a big deal. And this time around, it looks like we'll be able to avoid that. There's like a little stu little bit of stutter going on. I'm not sure why. I mean, I, I had videos rendering in the background earlier, but they're not going anymore, so I don't know that that would have any effect. Oh, come on. That's what I get for speaking too soon. But now we should be okay. Actually... Let's try to stun him. No. Either way, he can't use his bow. He, on the other hand, should be able to shoot him from there. Okay, you're up. I guess we'll just go there. <coughs> Come on, I can't afford another death. No, out of range. Damn. This guy is shifty. Okay, there's some damage. And there's a lot of damage. We'll get him here. He'll get attacked on somebody. Hopefully he doesn't kill him. Okay. Looks like we're in the clear now. And there it is. Let's look at our loot. Nothing special. Some spears, a hatchet, some shields. Gambusin, I guess we could use that. We'll take it. And we'll take our pay. Now let's see about getting our guys equipped. Uh, the Gambeson is better than anything we have currently, so I'm going to give it to you. Although it is broken. Oh well. Now you've got... Does your weapon break? I don't know what's going on with him. I guess I'll give you a spear. Yeah, might as well. And I think I'd rather these guys carry spears. Yeah, let's do that. The bludgeons aren't terrible, but they're not great. I find the hatchet to be a much better weapon. 25 to 45 damage and 120 against armor. Versus 20 to 25 and 90 against armor. This is, to me, it's a way better weapon. I mean, I don't see how you could really argue it. It does shield damage. It has a lower minimum or maximum fatigue. This goes minus 8, minus 6. Almost double the damage. 30% more effective against armor. I don't see how you could go wrong there. It's like everybody's got a shield. Um, so let's hire one more guy, maybe. If there's anybody we can afford. Just a miller. Um, can we sell anything? I'll sell this. And actually, if that's damaged, I'll sell it. I'd really like to grab some of this in here. Oh, a crossbow. I haven't seen one of those yet. 
Hunting bow would be nice too. But I think I'll just take this for now. I'll take one more thing of provisions. And then we will hire Minolf the Miller. Actually, Vander the Bowyer. 250. Wolf, he's a caravan hand. I think I'll take him since he's an actual archer. Then we can turn the other guy into a melee fighter since he wasn't that great of an archer anyways. And hopefully that pays off in the end. So let's see. You're not that great as an archer either. <laughs> Um, I definitely don't need three, so what I think I'll do is Hank is going to hold on to his bow, but he's going to take some real weaponry with him. And let's see, I'd like to get him slightly better clothing. Let's see, we'll swap this for this, and Hank can have this thing. And I'll give him that. That's looking pretty good. And I'll give him a dagger just, just in case. And we'll give him the blue. The blue shirt, since the blue shirt looks a little bit nicer. Okay, don't mind that down there. Sorry about that. And actually, I will give him the mail coif. And we'll just pass these things down to whoever needs them. Let's see. I think I'll give you this, since it's slightly better than what you have. And I'll give Vander the hood. Oh, I have two hoods, actually. So, yeah, let's get you a hood. And now everybody's decked out. So, I think that's a good place to break off, break off the episode. In the next episode, we'll travel around a little bit. I think there's a city to the northwest here, not too far off. And we'll find another quest to do. But until then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you back here for the next episode of Battle Brothers.